Hello, it's Imari, Consciously Unbiased, Social Media Manager and Facilitator here with a Conscious News Recap. Every week we'll dive into major headlines and conscious news to know. So starting off this week's wrap up, these days it's almost impossible to turn on a TV, radio, or even scroll through social media without seeing a Kanye West controversy and the headlines. Kanye, now known as Ye, is no stranger to controversy, but a recent company response can teach us all a great lesson here. So to quickly catch you up, Kanye West began raising eyebrows with a White Lives Matter shirt at his Paris Week fashion show. So the Anti-Defamation League categorizes the phrase White Lives Matter, which reframes the Black Lives Matter movement or the Black Lives Matter phrase used to protest against brutality as a hate statement. That's according to the, to the Guardian. But that controversy was quickly overshadowed by a thread of hateful, hurtful, and anti-Semitic posts from Kanye West on Twitter. Now, there's a lot of negative news out there, but rather than focus on all of the back and the forth, I wanna highlight how an organization responded to Kanye, not by attacking back, no, but by offering to educate him. Now, the Holocaust Museum LA responded by inviting Kanye to come by for a visit to learn about the devastating impacts of hate speech. I'll show you the IG story here. It says, words matter, and words have consequences, yay. We urge you to come visit us at Holocaust Museum LA to understand just how words can incite horrific violence and genocide. And more organizations such as the US Holocaust Museum in DC, for example, also weighed in to educate on the dangers of spreading hate speech via Twitter. Now, more of this. Bravo, huge cheers to these organizations that are using their platforms to educate. Now, for another example of an organization using their platform for good, just announced the next Grammy Awards will include an award for a song for social change. It's a special merit award, right, that recognizes creators of message-driven music that responds to the social issues of our time and has a potential for positive global impact. So also according to the Academy, so far more than 80% of the submissions received are for Shervin Hartford's song, Beret, which is a protest anthem for Masa Amini, the 22-year-old woman who was arrested in Iran by the morality police for allegedly violating a religious law requiring women to wear a headscarf. Her death in police custody sparked widespread protests in Iran and around the globe about the need to protect women's rights and human rights. Here's a clip, let's take a listen. برای بی پولی برای حسرت یک زندگی معمولی برای کودک زبال گرد و آرزوهاش برای Now I'll go ahead and link the full video with the English titles and the caption below. The award show takes place next year, 2023, and I'm saving the date now. Really excited to see that new category. And finally, and consciously unbiased news, we are channeling the power of collaboration to create the first ever Contingent Workforce Diversity Council in partnership with LinkedIn. Now we're uniting enterprise-wide buyers of contingent workforce programs with existing contingent DEI initiatives for positive change, both on company culture and the bottom line. So the Diversity Council will hold quarterly meetings. The more we can join forces to share what's working, where we're stuck, and the solutions we've uncovered, the more progress we'll make in creating workplaces that advance inclusion for all. So if you're an enterprise buyer with existing DEI initiatives and are interested in joining this collective, please reach out to our VP of Strategy and Learning Design, Anita Scott, at Anita at Consciously Unbiased. Com. And to stay connected with Consciously Unbiased, you can find us on social media. That's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn at Consciously Unbiased, and online at ConsciouslyUnbiased.com.